In this video I'll be showing you how to uncap the frame rate limit on Dead Rising 3 on PC. Before I begin I want to point out that this video is for educational purposes only. So if you have Dead Rising 3 on PC you will have noticed by now that when you go in the menu and you change your resolution you can change your refresh rate within there to high refresh rates if you have a monitor that supports that. But if you go in the game and start playing it you'll notice it feels kind of sluggish while you're playing it and if you turn on a frame counter then you should see that that the FPS will always be stuck at 30 frames and of course it can go below that while playing as well. This of course does not feel good when playing this kind of game and actually makes it quite difficult to play at points. As you could see from the gameplay that I have shown you in the background which is the game running at 30 frames. I'm now going to show you how you can unlock this frame rate. So from within your Steam library if you find Dead Rising 3 like it is here for me and you right click it and you come down to properties and then you go over to the local files tab here and then click browse. Once you've done that it will open up the file explorer to the area where you have your Dead Rising 3 game installed. Now before we begin this you might notice that your area looks a bit like this and it's missing all the end parts to some of the files. In order to sort this out as we're going to need this in a minute if you come up to the top here where it says view and then come over to where it says file name extensions make sure you have this ticked so that way you can see like it shows here for deadwriting 3exe it now shows .exe rather than what it showed a minute ago which was just Dead Rising 3. Now that you have that turned on if you right click anywhere within the installation location for Dead Rising 3 and click on new and then click on text document for now. You'll see a new text document will pop up like so you will want to call this text document user like so and then just push enter once you put in the word user once you've done this if you double click that file that you've just created called user it will open up a text document like so here you're going to need to put in the following line i will put this line down in the description as well as the pinned comment for you all so you can just copy and paste what i put down there into your text document rather than writing it out yourselves this is the line that you will type out and put in here or just copy and paste like i said i will put this line in the description and the pinned comment for you all so you can just copy and paste it into your text document once you put this in like so come up to where it says file and then click save. You can then close down this document. If you head back over to that user text document that you created and left click it like so, so that you can edit it and its name, you want to change this dot text bit at the end here to dot ini like this and then push enter. It will then pop up saying, you know, if you do this, it might break the file. It won't break the file. Just click yes. Once you've done that, you will notice that that text file will now have a different logo to it and we'll have a little cogwheel on top of a white page. This means you've done it correctly. If it doesn't show this, by the way, straight away and it still shows something like this where it has this big blank page, just come up to the top here where it says Dib Rising 3 and just click that once and it will refresh the area and then it should change your document to look like that. So make sure that you change that to user.ini. You can then close all this down and go and run the game. I'm now going to boot up the game and just show you some of the options and explain what you need to do in order to make this game run at a reasonable frame rate but at the same time without breaking the game completely. Okay so here we are on the main menu and just to prove immediately here that the frame rate limit will now be removed if you turn on the steam frame rate counter you will immediately see that the main menu will no longer have the frame rate of 30 frames but rather will now go up to a decent frame rate depending on what your monitor of course supports. If you want to turn on the steam frame rate counter then all you have to do is simply push shift tab on your keyboard which will bring up the steam overlay like so come down to where it says settings and then come over to the in-game section here come down to this bit where it says in-game fps counter click that drop down box and then you can put it to wherever you want but i normally have it in the top right as it's just the easiest spot to look at once you do that click ok and then you will have it on there. Obviously I've already got it there so I'm not going to do that. But there you go. That will then put that frame rate there for you so you can see what the frame rate is performing at while you're playing the game if you want to see what's going on. I wanted to explain a couple of things with the main menu here and this really applies mainly to the people that have monitors that have higher refresh rates like my own. So my monitor supports 144 on the refresh rate or hertz as people like to call it. This is where this game has a bit of trouble. Going into the options bit and then coming down to the visuals. Of course within here you normally will have your resolution that you choose. So I'm choosing 4K in this case and 
you can normally if you have a high refresh rate monitor like my own you can go up here to 143 hertz and that's what the game supports also you can have of course 119 99 97 79 etc for people that are using 60 hertz monitors you'll be stuck at 59 hertz as an option and then of course usually other people will have 79 hertz etc for people that have 144 hertz and also 120 hertz i highly recommend that you stay on the 99 hertz option here on whatever resolution you are choosing to play this game on the reason i say this is because this game has quite a few buggy problems if you change the refresh rate to be extremely high and those buggy problems usually end up being things such as aiming down the sights with a gun doesn't work correctly driving the car around the place can sometimes have some some serious consequences zombies popping in and out and flying all over the place cutscenes being too quick compared to what they should be the lighting of the world so that's like the street lamps and the sky sometimes get out of control as well with this if you want to make sure that that doesn't happen to you then stick at 99 hertz so after uncapping the frame rate and everything i've just gone through on the main menu of the game if you're still having trouble with the game's frame rate and things just basically not working correctly within the game itself then you can try one last thing i'm going to be showing this for the nvidia users however amd users you should be able to do the same thing i'm just not sure where it would be with inside your control panel as I don't use AMD so you will have to find that yourselves. Video users if you come to your desktop like I am and just right click in the open space and then go to NVIDIA control panel and open that up. Once you have your NVIDIA control panel open if you come down to the left hand side menu here and come to manage 3D settings then come over to program settings and then when you're in here you can either click this little drop down box here and then find the application that you're looking for which is deadrising3.exe. I already have it here and it's already loaded up but if you don't have that then you can click this add button and then browse for it basically you just need to browse to where the dead rising 3 game is installed and then open up the exe file for the game once you do that it will open it up here like so you then simply want to come and drag this down until you get to the area where it says max frame rate and just click on this over here to get this drop down box you then want to click on and then you want to change the FPS here to 100. And then once you've done that, you just click OK. And there you go, you have 100 frames there. And then you just click Apply down here in the bottom. If you do have problems, like I said, where the game is having lots of glitches, speed issues, etc., then do this, and this will help you out a lot. But once you do this, you should then have no more problems with speed issues within the game that would basically break it. However, I still recommend that you stick on the same refresh rate that I mentioned before. You can risk it and go to a higher refresh rate if you like on the menu and see what happens. But this might not work for everyone going to a higher refresh rate rate even capping the frame rate within here i highly recommend though with this game you don't go above 100 frames because if you do there will be problems so just showing here in the background on the game you can see the gameplay difference now when i have the frame rate limit removed and you can see it's a lot easier to move around now a lot easier to do the combat stuff inside the game as well and it just makes playing the game a breeze compared to what it was like with the 30 frame rate limit on it it will really make a night and day difference to playing dead rising 3 on pc i hope that this video helped out everybody and anyone that needed to fix the frame rate limit on this game and actually be able to play it like they should be able to play it if you need any help with other pc games and optimizing them and so on then i have a link to my playlist on that down in the description as well as the pinned comment if you require a guide for any of those games on pc and getting them to work etc otherwise if you have any trouble at all with this then please do leave a comment and i will respond back as quickly as I can and try and help you out and with that being said i hope you guys enjoyed dead rising 3 on pc now and i will see you all in the next video